Okay, welcome to another CVA Nordic practice video. Uh, right now we're looking at uh, David Chamberlain. Uh, no, David has not joined the CVA Nordic team, but we managed to get some good footage of him at the uh, Stowe Eastern Cup. And this is one of the things we like to do in practice is, is look at good skiers and, and see what it is they're doing that, that makes them so effective. Um, so what we noticed about Dave here, uh, this is a sprint, so he's going... Uh, a little bit uh, choppier than he probably would in a longer race, but you notice he's coming up really high and he's really slamming those poles down into the snow. Okay, so those hands come up really high in front. He's really getting a good punch into the snow. Okay, here's the other thing I really like to notice about this little clip here is look how far forward those hips come. If you go back and look, um, you can see that those hips are going from the back and they're coming really aggressively forward. And so those are a couple of things that we have been working on in our double pole. Um, here we have Ike Dwyron. Um, we're going to watch Ike go by a couple times and get an idea of what his classic skiing is looking like. Um, uh, just one more thing about the uh, the other thing that we uh, really looked at a lot before uh, these practice sessions is uh, there are a couple of videos on YouTube of Per Ellison. Uh, I think they're called like Per Ellison's uh, uh, brilliant classic skiing. I think you can just uh, search them on YouTube, and and um, all of a sudden is is uh, is really a great skier to watch. Uh, he just seems to do everything just exactly right. Also Ben Tiscari, but she doesn't seem to be uh, on YouTube. So we've been looking at Ellison. So um, so we're looking at Ike. Uh, Ike is a seventh grader. He's really been ripping it up on the circuit this year. Uh, he's been doing a little bit better in skating in his competitions and classics. So we've been been looking at his classic skiing uh, and trying to trying to sort of uh, navigate some of the difficulties that he's having here. Um, the the arm tempo seems to be good, and and uh, and I'm liking the dynamic of the kick pretty well. The the problem that Ike is running into that we've been working on is. Uh, is, uh, he tends to stay right in the middle of uh, his skis. Uh, it, which is, he's a very dynamic skater, uh, but when he classic skis, you can see in these clips here um, that he tends to stay right in the middle. And here you can see in the slow-mo that, that what that's doing is it, it's really arresting his glide. He's never, uh, because he's staying in the middle, he's never really getting on either ski, and so he never really gets that sort of, that sort of glide phase onto each ski. Um, and so what we've been doing as a corrective is just uh, doing some drills where he overextends the glide. He, he lets it glide for like three seconds and, uh, and also lots of no-pull work. Uh, those two combined really sort of force a skier um, to, to get on their ski and do that long glide. So um, here we have Caitlin. Um, Caitlin is experiencing a, a very similar problem. It's a very common problem where where um, she, she's keeping the weight in the middle and not really committing to uh, one ski or the other. Um, here we can see it very clearly in this, this head-on slow-mo. By staying in the middle, I mean that um, if you look at the center of her gravity, um, it's not going from side to side onto one ski and then onto the other. Um, and, and because she's in the middle like that, she can never you can never really stay very long on one ski. It's not a balanced position. And so what we can, what we're noticing here is um, we'll see that back foot is really, it's only really coming off the ground very tentatively um, because she's staying in the middle um, that, that's sort of needed for, for balance. Okay, it's, it's almost like a, like a rudder back there. Um, and, and you know, and it's not the most effective way to ski because um, you know it's it's arresting, you know, like it was with Ike. It's really preventing any any sort of long free glide on either ski. Um, and ironically, it also it also takes away from the kick um, because the, the weight is not over the ski, and so the kick is not effective. It requires sort of more muscle oomph and uh, and and less just sort of letting gravity do a lot of the work. So, so like Ike, um, it's it's a very uh, it's the same same solution. We do a lot of work without poles. Uh, we do a lot of work um, where we extend the glide and, and really just learn to commit to that ski and, and be comfortable with that. Um, all right, here we have um, 
Emma. Uh, Emma. Emma is a senior in high school this year. Um, I'm really liking the look of this double pole here in this section. Um, she comes up pretty high in the front. She has a very kind of explosive punch into the snow. Um, and, she, and generally she's very uh, dynamic in the upper body. Um, with the striding, we can see we start to get um, a little bit of difficulty. Uh, this is a good video section here to actually see what, what Emma is struggling with. Um, it's, a, it's a, again, it's, a, it's, a, it's really the same, the same kind of problem that, that Ike and, uh, and Caitlin are working on. She, she's, her weight is staying in the middle. She's not really committing to either ski. And so you can see it right here. It looks very, very clipped in the legs. And she can only go so far uh, with her glide because... Um, because she's not really committing uh, her weight to either ski, okay? And so um, with Emma, we're really working on, she's got a strong kick, so we're really working on a long, um, uh, coming forward with a very sharp knee uh, and really kind of shooting the leg forward like a pendulum. Uh, and we do the same thing with the arm. She does it well with the arm, so we're trying to kind of piggyback on that and get the leg to come forward uh, very strong and dynamic as well. So that was our practice, uh, our classic practice. This is actually a couple of practices put together. Uh, some of the problems that we're encountering in our classic skiing and, and some of the solutions that we're applying.